Hello everyone, I'm Mark. Welcome to our channel. Today I'm kind of excited because I'm out at a place that uh, I buy a lot of my material from. And um, I don't know, most you metal guys, uh, if you're like me, it's uh, you get around material places like this and sell equipment or uh, materials, it's, it's like kid in a candy store. And th this place is really cool because it's a, uh, it's kind of a surplus place and it's called Acme uh, Surplus in um, Sanford, Florida and they have everything here they buy from the military they buy from uh, the space industry and uh, just uh, private industry as well so you never know what you're going to find here their stocks always changing because of the way they purchase things and they, they have a little bit of everything here so uh, let, let's get started okay this is a picture of the front uh, this is the name it's got their information on it uh, their phone number, their hours, uh, and their address. So uh, uh, let's go in and start looking around. And when I say they have a little bit of everything, I mean they have a little bit of everything. You can get the electric motors here, you can get wiring, hosing, um, uh, different types of, uh, this is all stainless steel tubing and titanium tubing. And pretty much all the materials here they sell by the pound. I mean, they got huge wrenches here. I mean, look how big this wrench is compared to my hand. I mean, that thing's huge. It's a 75 and 80 millimeter wrench. Uh, here's an assortment of other different kinds of wrenches that they have. Uh, I'm just going to start going down the rows here so I can get out of, out of black. So I can try to show you guys everything. They have, uh, this is all uh, stainless and titanium down this row. See they got all kinds of different kinds of electric motors. Um, oh wow this is cool. It looks like a bunch of conveyor pulleys if you want to build a conveyor system. But you can see all the different motors. Uh, some are still new in the boxes. Some are used. Uh, you just never know what you'll find here. Look at that. That's what I need right there. <laughs> Exercise machine. Uh, you got towels. Uh, you, you name it, if it's something industrial you're looking for, uh, they probably got it or can get it. So uh, they have all different kinds of plastics, sheets, round stock. Uh, right here is all their different sheets. They have this, uh, it's like fiber board. It's like a honeycomb fiber uh, center and then material on each side of it. Over here are some of their round stocks and more sheets of plastic around this way they have brake dies uh, gear boxes I mean, this place is just amazing I love coming here and just to walk around and you land up leaving with something today I need to I need to get a piece of expanded metal for my little uh, utility trailer I have I need to put on the tailgates I'm hoping to find that and also I need to get some round tubing for the go-kart that I'm going to be working on for my grandson so I'm hoping to get some of that here today you can see they have they have big chunks of material i'm not sure what this material is but from the tip of my little finger to the tip of my thumb that's nine inches so you can see that's about nine and a half inch piece of material probably about a foot tall uh, another big chunk here have all this flat stock in different sizes and again, he's, he's saying that this is this is tool steel down here with a painted yellow. So that, that big chunk on the ground there is some type of tool steel. Now I don't I don't know what kind. Some of these are marked A2, um, P21. I'm not sure what that is. I've never used P21. I've used a lot of A2, D2, oil hardening, water hardening tool steels too. There's different assortment sizes of aluminum blocks. So you know if you're needing if you're needing to make something. And that's a pretty good chunk right there. Uh, you can buy in small quantities rather than to buy a big piece or have a custom cut. And they, like I said, they have a lot of different sizes like that. Um, and then you get into, you know, bigger chunks of uh, aluminum, all different sizes, and they sell it by the pound. So I think the prices can vary depending on what the market's doing. So I'm not really going to quote chain prices today on what stuff's selling for because it could change tomorrow. They have a lot of stuff like the 80-20 stuff for uh, building different pictures and tables and things. And, you know, I said it odds and ends of tooling and equipment. There's some more 
big wrenches. <laughs> Look how big around that is. I mean, that's and all different sockets. Over on this side, they have a lot of uh, bronze bushing material, different types, aluminum bronze, regular bronze, 660, uh, some copper. Uh, and you get over here, uh, I believe this is some more tool steels here in this rack. Odd lengths and different diameters. Again, it's kind of nice because you don't have to go spend a fortune on uh, the full length of something or have a special cut. A lot of different size all threads. There's aluminum rounds. And you can see it's kind of an assortment, so you can dig through and get what you need. And you know, I usually come up here and I'm doing that, I'll, I'll grab two or three different pieces of odd sizes just so I have them around. There's different types of aluminum uh, round tubing and extrusions. Uh, some more aluminum. Uh, here they got lead, different chunks of lead, you know, for making weights or uh, anything you need ballast for or anything like that. You can take it, melt it down or do whatever you want to do with it. This is odds and ends of stainless pieces. Uh, they have 400 series. Looks like there's probably 300 series in there too. And some other stuff, I'm not sure. Again, with aerospace and um, the military, you know, they use a lot of exotic materials, so they have a lot of neat stuff here. Here's some just regular brass round solids and tubing and copper and, and then um, some more bronze bushing material and looks like titanium and stuff like that. All different sizes, some more of that perf board and uh, honeycomb uh, boarding material, different hoses. And they do have some machinery here and again, it's that changes all the time. Every time I go up here, they have something different. Uh, last time they had laid in a mill in here, and I don't see it anymore. They must have sold it. Uh, their little uh, shear that might be kind of handy. Punching shear. There's a tool grinder. Again, you see they have just odds and ends of stuff here, different uh, meters and things. I'm not even sure what some of this stuff does different kinds of stuff. Yeah, and even a vibrator, uh, you know, like you want to polish uh, material or uh, parts or something. There's a lot of different brake dies, short pieces. So, you know, if you're, if you're into fabricating stuff, they got uh, different tools for that. Probably not going to catch everything here because there's just so much stuff, but try to get get the most of it here's um, a lot of different uh, chain hoist electric hoist uh, uh, again when you start looking at just stuff they have here it's just amazing man. Yeah, look at those big bottle jacks but, uh, this one in particular really amazes me look at how big that thing is I don't know if it's got the tonnage on it See, I don't see the tonnage on it, but again, that thing's huge. The body of it's almost nine inches in diameter and probably seven inches tall or so. That ram's probably about four and a half, five inches in diameter. So that thing, I think that thing would pick up a house. <laughs> this is kind of neat. It's like an adjustable parallel. Pretty long. It's it's probably thirty inches long, maybe. different types of indexers they have here. I mean, just a, a little bit of everything. There's all different kinds of torque wrenches. I mean, all different kinds. So if you're needing a torque wrench or something like that. Another uh, another tool grinder, it looks like a drill grinder. A little, little drill press, a little die filer. Different kinds of vices, vice jaws, so you just need the jaws. Chuck wrenches. This is like some kind of little nibbler. Cast 
transfers, our toolbox. This is a material tester. I don't know if it's like a, a strain tester or yeah, that's what it kind of looks like if you look here. Like you pull the material until it breaks in two and it'll tell you on the gauge how much pressure it took to break the material. It's kind of neat. I've built fixtures like that. They were more computerized for uh, the automotive industry for testing uh, brake cables and things like that to see how much you take to pull the ends off of it. Our, our shop in Illinois built several of those uh, type of fixtures. So let's go back up this way. More casters, uh, odds and ends, it just drops the material. It's 1018 round, it says. It's just pull roll around. And different little types of bearings, casters. Man, this, is, this place is amazing. Yeah, there's like nylon uh, fasteners and couplers and hose ends. All types of electrical connectors. nuts uh, get into screwdrivers and mechanics type tooling and then they have a lot of stuff like this a lot of stainless fasteners and stuff you can come in and purchase just on and in again a lot of this stuff they sell by the pound so you just have to come in and get it weighed. Nice little cold cutoff saw. It's all uh, manual, but uh, it's like it's in really good shape. I think it's an older one. I'm not sure what brand it is. It's a Trend Jager. Jager, maybe? I don't know. Sounds German. <laughs> Jager Monster. Um, here's some more different things. A lot of all thread. Again, you get into some tool steel he has here. Extrusions. Uh, a lot of the 80, 80 20 extrusions, uh, so you can pretty good sized pieces. Uh, uh, this is all aluminum here. You see the different uh, different shapes and sizes. I mean, all the way from down to, you know, really big. This is probably a three inch square bar here. And, and odd shaped stuff, you know, different extrusions. You can see the shape of that thing, but you never know. You know, it might be something to be just exactly what you're looking for. And you can come in here and, and buy what you need. and. 6061, here's some 7075 aircraft aluminum. So they have a little bit of everything. This is all uh, brass solids and copper solids, different sizes, shapes. Um, you got just, uh, I mean, it's just, uh, I hate to think how many fasteners they have here, just thousands of fasteners. And uh, you know, they're all, they're all like new and you, you buy them by the pound, so uh, you get what you need and and get it at a good price so, but they 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 just uh they're constantly adding to their inventory this these particular shells weren't even here last time i was here so this is something new they've added but it's a lot of nice material down this way and again here's here's some more Sizes, lengths, shapes. I think pretty much all the stuff on this rack is 6061. I bought a lot of material off of that rack. And you get into here now, you got hinges, I mean, just cotter pens, just, just about any type of fastener you would need or piece of hardware you would need, they have here. Uh, all up here, they have uh, different woodruff keys, different sizes. different roll pins or tension pins taper pin, or uh, compression pins whatever you want to call them I mean I've always called them roll pins um, your square key stock grease fittings clevis pins you got carriage bolts here it looks like lag bolts I mean and a lot of stuff is stainless or, or it's a cadmium plated uh, fastener so you don't care about rust and I'm sure probably if I knew where to look, there's probably even titanium fasteners here. It wouldn't surprise me with it being, you know, um, 
the aerospace industry being here where they purchase a lot of stuff from them. And casters, they have, I, I'd say they have thousands of casters. There's casters everywhere you look, different shapes, sizes, and some new, some used. Big ones, little ones, just about any type of caster you could ever, ever need. You know, it's like this right here. You know, it says a forklift ramp. I don't know if that goes against a curb or something so you can drive your forklift up and down it, but if you need something like that, there you go. More casters, You've got pneumatic casters, uh, solid casters, steel casters, cast iron casters, plastic casters, caster casters. Uh, they have a lot of these kind of things too, just uh, electrical boxes, you know, if you're needing to build something. Oh, it must be locked. <laughs> I don't know what's inside of it. It almost like a traffic control box, but it's uh, just says powder coated aluminum enclosures. So I'm assuming it's empty. It doesn't sound like it's anything in it, but uh, if you need something like that, that's, that's, uh, that's the way to go. You don't have to buy new, you can come here and get a used one. A lot of different indexing tables, uh, bases off vices, just, just, uh, and again, pulleys, vices, you know, these are old, older actual Bridge, Bridgeport brand vices, which are really good vices. I mean, that was uh, really the vice to get if you wanted precision back in the day. I think now Kirk uh, vices has taken over the industry as far as... Uh... Hey everybody, I want to apologize for this video. I, uh, I shot video for over an hour at Acme Surplus and when I got home to do the editing first off I didn't realize my camera mount was loose as I was walking around so you see a lot of vibration in the camera I apologize for that and second off for some reason my camera shut off after 15 minutes of, of taping and um, I didn't realize it so <laughs> unfortunately this uh, this video is going to be pretty short and you're only going to see about a, a tenth of what Acme Surplus has to offer. I apologize for that. I apologize to Acme Surplus. And uh, next time I'm up there, I'm going to try to get back up there here pretty quick and, and shoot another video that will be a, a complete video. So um, I'm, going to, I'm going to post this video. I'm posting this video just to, uh, to show you a, a little bit about their business. And I'll have... Uh, I'll have their link posted down below in the description with their information. So if you need any type of material or anything like uh, uh, what I showed in the video, and um, they also have a lot of, of uh, steel, you know, angle iron, tubing, round stock, um, uh, sheets, and expanded metal, all that kind of stuff. So any of that kind of stuff you're needing, please contact them, and I'm sure they can they can hook you up with what you need. So. Uh, Again, I apologize for the the amateur uh, production of this video. Uh, I keep thinking every video I'm going to get better and better, and that seems like I, I every step I go forward, I take a couple steps back. So, um, hopefully, you enjoy our videos and and uh, you stick with us and you're patient and uh, hope you get a good chuckle out of this. I kind of did after I started editing this video. So. Um, like I said, if you enjoy our videos, please uh, hit the like and subscribe and share them with a friend and leave a comment below. Thanks. Have a great day.